Good afternoon. Happy Savage Saturday, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B., the casual comic guy here. This is ep episode 129 of Savage Saturday Comic Review. And today we're going to review a short story out of a one-shot called Red Sonia 1973. All right, so a beautiful cover there. Ed Baines and uh, Denai Riviero. And uh, just an absolutely gorgeous piece of work right there. And... So we have stories in here by Gail Simone, Cullen Bunn, Eric Trotman, Roy Thomas, Luke Lieberman, David Walker, and uh, they're all fun stories. The weakest one, in my opinion, the Gail Simone, because as good a writer as Gail Simone is, and I loved her Hot Shot series, I loved her Domino series, two of my favorite series, but I don't think she is a good voice for Red Sonia. She makes her too hot-tempered, she makes her too loud, and... It's like a, a dumbed-down version of Sonya, which I don't like. Uh, but also, uh, just a gorgeous collection here. Uh, Luke Lieberman, uh, did I say him? I did, okay. Uh, so the, epi uh, the story we're going to, wow, words, words, words today. The story we're going to concern ourselves with today is the Roy Thomas one. Now, like I said, the stories in this are fun. They're short stories. And if you guys want to, more of these from this volume maybe next week the week after let me know in the comments below but our first story is called red sonia for whom the bell trolls obviously a playoff from whom the bell tolls uh but you know roy thomas is always good for that right a little alliteration a little changing up a little fun homage to classic stories all right so when this tale opens we have red sonia entering a tavern and uh, you have a guy walking up to her, just this uncouth barbarian, and he says, Hey, Red, let's you and me make the beast with two backs. He's a very eloquent person. Uh, Red Sonia says, Sounds tempting, but no, thanks. And he replies, I wasn't asking. And he makes a mistake of slapping his hand on her shoulder. Uh, and in the next panel, he takes a boot to the jaw, knocking him back quite a few feet. And she says, and I wasn't negotiating wormhole. And uh, he is down. So there is our first page right there. So you're taking care of business with this uncouth uh, guy who just thinks everything's his way. Uh, now, the one of the his uh, friends is in there watching him get tossed around. And then you have a great shot of Sonia silhouetted in the doorway as she's walking out. And as this big uh, oaf of a man's getting up, you got his smaller friend going, you gonna let that carrot top tart do that to you, uh, Bruner? And uh, the guy's wiping ale and soup and whatever stew off his face. And he says, she kicked me when I wasn't looking and I'm gonna kick the living insides out of her when she is. Now, you know, he's still using his proper English instead of where she is, he's saying when she is. In the next page, Sonia's mounted her horse, and she's on her way. It says, well, horse, I guess we're far enough out of town by now that my admirer will start trying to catch up with me so he can ravish and pillage me while out of sight of anyone who might give me a hand. So she already knows the game that's being played. She's already ready for it. Uh, next panel, she says, maybe the middle of this bridge might be a place to make a stand. And she boards this bridge. And then the most beautiful panel in this whole book, or... And it's just a picture of her eyes, her stare. But there's those two pages. So again, this guy uh, is having his pride a little hurt. He was just going to force himself on Sonia. She took care of that. But he's going to follow her out there and try to make her pay for uh, being insolent enough to refuse his advances. Next panel, we see a giant troll. Uh, the horse whinnies up. And uh, Sonia says, maybe not. We go to the next page, and the troll says, I am the new troll of this bridge. Each day, I devour one unsuspecting human who crosses it. And Asanya says, Then may I suggest the overstuffed buffoon who's close behind me. He's at least twice my height. You do the arithmetic. And uh, the troll says, All right, agreed. But only because I'm especially hungry today. I've just finished a long trek to take up residence beneath this bridge. And, and Sonia says, and I'm sure that wherever you hail from, you're much missed. And uh, 
The troll screams down at her. Uh, the guy approaches, says, "You prepare to be eaten." And the guy says, "Stand aside. I want that woman who just passed by." Although, come to think of it, perhaps I don't want her that much. <laughs> As he's standing face to face with the giant troll. Now the troll, he wasn't the most intelligent of creatures, and uh, Sonya got a few jabs in at him that he didn't realize were jabs. So the next page, the troll growls on the horse, rears up, knocks the loudish barbarian off his steed, and then you hear him screaming, and you got Sonya on her horse trying to ignore it as she trots away going, I can't hear you. No, I really can't. Oh, there was an old lady from Punt, and then she stops. She looks back. She goes, oh, hell, sweet bells. A joke's a joke, but that fur furry-faced fool's liable to get himself killed. And you can see him in the background, in the clutches of the uh, troll. And the troll is just opening his mouth and bringing the guy up when Sonya re-enters the scene on horseback from behind the troll who she had just passed. And she cuts his Achilles tendon. He's like, you slice my ankle. Hard to stand. And she goes, and it won't get a lot easier. Or it'll, uh, oh, I'm sorry. She says, and it will get a lot harder, monster. Now that I've slashed the other one. And now slicing through both his tendons, the creature falls. And uh, there we go. And of course, you know, I've been putting the pages up for you guys to look at. So on our next page. Uh, the troll is down. You see Sonia leaping off her saddle through the air to land on the troll's face. And she goes, and now that I've got cut you down to size, you can see what's coming for you. And um, she drives a sword through his eye into his brain. Uh, the oafish barbarian dude says, you blinded him? She goes, no, killed him. He goes, he goes, oh, sure, because your sword kept on going into his brain, yes? And she's like, into his brain, yes. Like, like this guy's just too dumb to comprehend it. He goes, you stay right there, woman. And she's like, no need to thank me. He goes, I'm not going to thank you, I'm going to. And she introduces her foot to his lower regions and drops him on sight. And... She gets on her horse and rides away and says, Once a wormhole, always a wormhole. And thus ends our Red Sonia short story. Uh, so this dude who just saw her kill a troll in front of him thinks he's got what it takes to take on Red Sonia and uh, just leaves with a little bit of soreness after rolling around on the ground for a while. Lucky to have his life intact. But that was our story, A Fun Little Tale by Roy Thomas. And uh, the artist on that one was uh, Rick <clears throat> Rich Buckler and colors by Arison Aguirre. Aguirre. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that anywhere near correctly, but uh, a fun little tale. The first one called The Raiding Party, with, written by Eric Trotman, was really good as well, as was The Arena of Dread, Silent Running, The Hanging Tree was okay, Simple Life was fun, a good little lesson there. But overall, uh, this little collection of short stories, and trust me, Dynamite doesn't always hit it out of the park with Red Sonia. But this collection gets an A. The art throughout all the stories is really good. So I'm going to give the art an A plus in this collection. I think the only story that brings it down for me a little bit is the Gail Simone one because of the way it starts. Now, she does write the ship halfway through, but the, the start is rough with just having Red Sonia be a yelling, screaming mess of a person, which she is not. But um, a good tale by Roy Thomas and crew and just a super fun, enjoyable read. If you guys want to see more of these and more Savage Saturday comic reviews, let me know. There's a couple more stories in here I think that you would enjoy. But that's it for today, guys. And until next time, thank you for watching and keep it casual.